can make harness, I can make saddles, I can make, well, anything. It, it all depends. If somebody wants something strange made, something out of the ordinary, if they bring me a template, I can copy it. So yes, I can make just about anything. Over the years, it's been, it's mainly bridles we make. Uh, we've just gone into saddle making and hopefully I'll, I've got another saddle here somewhere which I'm in the midst of making for me city and guilds and if that one passes then become uh, qualified in saddle making. If somebody wants something all our bridles are bespoke and we will just make them up to whatever the customer wants we can mix and match it doesn't matter what's in it we can make we do our bridles as parts so we can make it whatever they want. My most interesting part of the job, I think, is going out and seeing customers and seeing their horses and measuring up for uh, saddles. You can have some horses with long backs who take big saddles and they're quite small, and you can get big horses with short backs, so it all depends on um, what's suitable at the time. My first horse was 2003, Duke, my cob. He's uh, done a lot of uh, carriage work. He's very good with anything. He's uh, I used to do weddings, proms, uh, all that sort of stuff with him commercially, as well as he's also a riding cob as well. And he's also been on the stage. <laughs> so he's done all sorts. I started doing it when I left school, which was 85, but um, due to circumstances um, I then went on and uh, did other things and came back to it in 1998 and been doing it ever since. I was working for a saddlery from uh, 98 through to 2006. They then shut down. I moved everything home to my own place until 2011 and then I came here and I've been here ever since. First job I ever did, I think was a pair of stirrup leathers. And that's going back many, many years, but I can, yeah, for the first bespoke job. Um, I did a lot of repair work before that, but I think the first thing I actually made properly was a pair of stirrup leathers. Oh, that's where you stitch your back bit on. Yeah, so there. But eight, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, couple of hundred pounds upwards however for an English saddle you're looking minimum about 700 for an English leather saddle and for a handmade one from a thousand pound upwards the reason why good English leather saddles cost so much is simply because the quality the cost of the materials and the labor charge really a normal English leather saddle can cost somewhere around about 500 pounds just in materials a tree is a couple of hundred pound which is the frame inside. The rest of it is the leather. Um, the rest of the cost is the leather, but there's also a week and a half work to work. So you can see where the cost comes, and there's also fitting it to make sure it's right and everything else. So that's why English leather saddles cost so much. I can probably put one together in about a week. Yeah, it depends on um, how, how awkward they are, you know, what, what we need to do. The thing I most I push most is the fact that we hand stitch everything. Where where we could be using machines, I prefer to hand stitch. So it, it takes a bit longer, but it's a better quality of work. I've been doing this job for many years now. It's just um, a lot of it is common sense. And once you've got several d different parts of the skills together, you can do just about anything.